Right then, so when it comes to the Neptune DN140s, now I did put them on, I did install them on the Jan 280 because it's the only 280mm AIO I've got here. So what I've done is a bit more of a comparison when it comes to the included John 280 fans with the Neptune DN140. So what I've done is, what I'll do first is I'll give you the uh, Neptune DN140s and I'll make sure I'll put a graph up here so you guys can see the difference between the John 280 ARGB fans with the Neptune DN140s. So for Cinebench R23, the idles were 33 Celsius, the max was a 79 Celsius, Blender Classroom, the idles were 33, the max was a 77, now with these fans they are a lot, they are a lot quieter than the John 280 fans, but of course and the idles were a lot better, so for Blender BMW the idles were 33 Celsius with a max of 76, and 3D Mark CPU test the idles were 34 with a 67 Celsius and this is with a 5900X with PBO enabled. Now what I'm going to do is show you the uh, differences now. The There isn't actually much of a difference because the CPU has got PBO enabled and it just runs what it, what it actually wants to. So in terms of the performance, both fans were almost identical but with the DN... 140s they were a lot quieter so let's get into the rest of the video Okay then, so look, you've seen the, the thermals. Yeah, I did do more of a comparison than a review because reviewing fans isn't really my strong suit. So what I've really done is just done a comparison between the John 280mm ARGB fans with the swapping them out with the, D, the Neptune DN140s. Now what I will say is the Neptune DN140s are a lot quieter in terms of cable management. You can daisy chain two fans together with the four pin PWN connector. You can daisy chain them. So there's only one connector coming off the both fans where as the John, they do have the included ARGB connector, but then of course the PWM connectors are also separate. So that's one thing I'd say. Overall, I look. I will say that the John two eighty millimeter fans, the one forties that come with it, are a lot nicer when in terms of the RGB aspect. But when it comes to the cable management and as well as acoustics, yes, the DN one forties do win when it comes to that kind of comparison. So it does go to show that if you buy a set of these and put them on a two hundred 80 millimeter radi uh, AIO or a radiator, you will get lower noise, but also around the same performance because these were similar when it comes to performance, one to two degrees. That could be margin of error because the weather in Wales at the moment is up and then down, so it could have been different when it comes to testing. But overall, 
They're not bad fans. I personally wouldn't buy them because I'm not really into non-RGB fans. And also the cases I use generally don't have 240. Uh, 140 fan support they do but i don't really like the look of 140s i generally do prefer the an 140s because these do look a lot better they are the same when it comes to silence but these also are daisy chainable so you can cha uh, daisy chain two fans up with the uh, rgb as well as the pwm support and uh, overall you know me i love my rgb so i would prefer the an 140s but of course that's up to you guys i will make sure to leave the link for in win uh the europe version down below if you guys want to go have a look at what uh, products they have because they are bringing out a lot of new new cases and stuff like that so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always this is rich for Welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic day good bye